Joining me in Turtle Street is uh, Josh Gowling after Hereford's FA Cup exit. Uh, what do you make of things out there this afternoon? Frustrating. Um, you know, I spoke to uh, their captain after they changed the formation four times. Um, I mean, the manager said after as well. You know, it was smash and grab really, wasn't it? So, um, but again, we lost the game one 0 So frustrating. Plenty of possession again. Final third execution not quite there. Yeah, you know, we, we spoke at the end of the game there. Um, you know, when you're playing as well as we are, eventually something will drop. Eventually, but at the moment it's not. And I think as the games go on, you get more anxious in those areas. I said to the lads, we need to gamble more. I think when we are putting balls in the box, at times we've got one in the box where we need a, our 10 in the box, we need the opposite wide one in the box, we need the mid, mid, midfielder in the box. So at the moment we're just not gambling enough. And I said to the lads, if you want to take some away from that game, is when we go Saturday, we need to gamble more when we get in the box. And also, do you feel you need a few more shots from distance? I mean, the pick of the bunch was Harry Pinchard's, which the goal cape made a tremendous save to keep out. But how many other shots were there from that sort of distance? Yeah, you know, I suppose to the lads, we said at half time actually. We're getting in around the box, and it's kind of like we want to score the perfect goal rather than just open out and letting go. Um, but again, it comes back to you know, you scored four goals in the league, I know it's a cup competition, and then you kind of think, Oh, should I? So we just got to kind of take the shackles off a little bit and be a bit more creative, you know. And, and when we do get in around the box, just let go. Once it drops, we'll score goals, but it's just getting that first goal over the line, and then we can then kick on from that. A slight change in uh, formation there today with a bit more of a fluid strike force rather than the direct route what was your thought process behind that yeah we just thought you know you look at their back their back four eventually a three there's no point in going long because they're big strong boys so we wanted to play a little bit more and get them moving around um, which we did really well at spouse and you know ollie held the ball up really well and then obviously we had miles come off the line and toby come off the line so it worked well in spouse we just i just want us to be a bit more kind of economical with our passing so you know when it does go up to miles and um, ollie and sets back can we slide balls in between the fullback and center ass for our wide players getting in on it and that's the gambling I'm talking about and you know at times we did go a bit more direct and one flick on and we didn't really gamble in behind it so um, these are the little things that you know make a massive difference for us and you know when we get them right then we'll score goals Do you, do you feel as well that you know obviously you've matched higher graded opponents for virtually the whole game that, that you should take a positive from that? Yeah you know we spoke to the lads you know we're out so there's in a way there's no positives from it because you're out of a competition that you want to be in and financially for the football club it's fantastic to, to, to have a run um, but you know they're sitting in the playoffs in the National League and if you come to a game would you know there was a difference in levels you wouldn't but what I would say is we've been like that all season so you know we're not where we should be in the league um, but we are because we've not scored goals and we've ended up on the end of a 1-0 again. So, you know, we want to score one of those scuffy goals. When we start gambling in the box and something drops, we'll score a scuffy goal. But until we do that, you know, it's it's, it's going to be difficult. But what's the situation with still looking for strikers? I mean, is there any sort of movement in that? Are you still looking at free agents? Well, yeah, I mean, we're always looking around, of course. Um, but, you know, if... if we do bring someone in then we might have to move some people out to do that and that's the reality of where we're at and you know I spoke to a few people and they said just bring a big striker in who scores loads of goals well give me some money and I'll do it <laughs> so that's the relevant so we brought Vic in obviously Vic's not fit um, so he needs a, a, a couple of weeks to get to those levels because I haven't really had a pre-season but yeah we are looking we're looking at loans of course and obviously we've got Danny and we've got Ollie um, Ollie's loan was up today so we'll see how that goes but yeah we, we've just got to keep persevering what I would say is you know like I said, you know, I went in, we, we spoke in the dressing room when I was playing, I went in at Kidderminster and we were 10 games without a win, bottom of the league. And then we went, we were playing well, and then all of a sudden we went 23 games of being. So what I would say is, if we're playing bad and we're losing 1-0 every week, then there's a lot of concern. But for me, for those boys, the spirit's high. I think we're playing well. We are getting good areas and there's just a little bit of fine tuning and once we do that fine tuning and we, and we really nail it down, we'll be um, we'll go from trench to trench. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the winning goal, but handball. some talk about handball. I thought it was handball. What did you make of it? Jazz has cleared it and he's hit his arm up and then from that they scored. So for me it's handball. I, I don't, yeah, he probably can't get his arm out of the way, but the reality is that handball has resulted in the goal. So I mean the keepers made two fantastic saves and then they've ended up putting it in, but for me it's handball. But you know, we don't really get those decisions there, do we? Back to the league then, um, restart. Yeah, we got um, obviously away from home Saturday now, be a top opposition, they're, they're, they're doing really well, they've had a real good start, they are direct, so first and foremost we've got to stand up to that physicality, um, I think it's a big thing which we did really well today because they're a big physical side, so you know, we've got to stand up to that, but what we have got to do is have the same mentality, it's easy to play against these kind of teams when they're a league above in the playoffs and it's their FA Cup, you know, so we've got to go there with a 
an elite mentality, uh, a focus mentality to go, you know, we'll, we'll set our clear points targets for the next five games, so we need to go there and get a win. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you. Bringing Victor Salandin, what was sort of the thinking behind that? How did it come about? Yeah, so um, obviously Vic was here when I was a player, then gone into managing, and um, Vic had a lot of growing up to do, which is why I sent him back. Uh, but from then, he's um, been constantly on the phone to me, uh, talking to me, and he seems to have done a lot of growing up, and he wants to be a success here. He was a success in his first foul for, for, for periods, and obviously, with us not scoring goals regularly, I mean, there's a great addition for us. So he's come in, he's got a good attitude, and Hopefully, once we get in fit, it'll be a big part of the team. And you brought a left back in on loan who didn't feature today. What's the thing behind it, bringing on the defender? Yeah, I just think um, it's an area that we need to strengthen in. Um, you know, I know while he's been in pre season with us, Jaden has. Um, it was probably not the right game to bring him in when he's only trained once or twice with us. Um, and I thought Lord did an excellent job at left back today. I thought he was solid pretty much throughout. He had a bit of a shaky first 10 minutes, but <laughs> apart from that, he did quite well. So. We just want options. I think that's a big thing. You know, when we play against different opposition, we want, want a bit more of an attacking left back or right back, wherever it is. So it just gives us those options. And you've got a county cup game on Tuesday night now. Yeah, we'll be playing a strong side. Yeah, we'll, there'll be there's lads obviously that have not played minutes. So um, you know, we'll, we'll probably have about eight or nine of the first team players playing um, in that game on Tuesday night because one, we need to win games, we need to score goals, and lads need minutes. So um, there'll be a strong side. So we presume some of those will be back from injury. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have um, it'll be it'll be a strong side. You know, it's we want to win games of football. You know, it doesn't matter who we're playing against. So and it's here, and we want to get a run to get a run going here, which we haven't we haven't yet. So we see that as, as a serious game, and, and we're going to go there with a strong side and, and win the game. Is um, Brandon close to coming back? As Is he, today? So Brando, yeah, he had a problem with his um, his, his muscle and his uh, side, so he's he's, he's progressing. Um, well, wow, he's not training yet, but obviously, obviously we've got the keeper in from Forest, and you know Jordan, he's, he's, he's been brilliant so far. So, yeah, it, it just gives us a bit of time, a bit of leeway to obviously get Brandon fit again. So, yeah, but he's he's not quite ready. Is that when he comes back, that gives good composition. Hundred percent. He had a good game as well today. Yeah, you know, like you know, you look today, Ollie played up front. Obviously, Dan wasn't happy not to play, and we've got Victor in now, and we've got Ryan McLean, obviously in wide areas, and Terry and Miles. So, we've got. Competition there, and then obviously we've got Reese to come back in. Obviously, he's cup tied today at the back, and Christian's coming back. So, and obviously, we've got a keeper coming in. So, you know, we're starting to look like a real competitive squad, which is pleasing. We've got to score goals, haven't we? So, <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is. Christian, he was warming up and doing bits and bobs. So, is, is he close? Yeah, so team? basically, obviously, Christian had another pre season, so we knew that. And he played in the, the cup game and he, he trained a bit, and he had a, a bit of an issue with the uh, sciatica issue, but no neural issue. So, we've been working on that to get him right and get him fit. So, once he's fit, which is not far away to be fair, then um, again, we've got even more competition. I mean, Ben Pollock today was excellent centre half, and obviously, we've got Reese come back in, Levy was excellent today, and obviously, with Christian back as well, we've got some real, real competition in that area. Brilliant. Thank you. Cheers, guys.